Okay, Bama Dave with you here. Um, it's uh, September, it's still hot. Um, and I just got a half day off of work, so I decided to go do a little bit of digging. I'm uh, trying to get used to this GPX, and I come to a site where I know there's bullets. Um, it's a battle site, and uh, but it's been picked over well throughout the years. But uh, I decided to give the GPX a try. My first target uh, was, uh, you can see the hole there. It's uh, down, that's deeper than pinpointer depth, and um, I just... Just got this nice uh, dropped mini. It's pretty pretty unusual for out here because just about everything you find is fired. So this thing was uh, got that good woodsy patina on it, and uh, it was like I said, it was way down below the pinpointer. So I'm uh, encouraged, and uh, we'll come back to you when we get something else. Okay, about a minute later, um, about I don't know about eight feet away from that other. Uh, other bullet I just dug and uh, I got another signal here that might be a bullet Let's see if you can I don't know if you can hear this or not so I'm not sure what it is I'm gonna try a live dig and we'll see together uh, it could be of course it could be you know, just a piece of iron that hasn't broken, but uh, we'll see if we can figure out what it is together. Maybe we got it there. Let's try. Well, I did kick it out of the hole, and that's what you get for doing a live dig. It was a piece of fire buck shot, so. But it was a good target, so that's encouraging. Starting to figure out some of these things on the GPX, maybe. So we'll come back to you and find something else. Okay, uh, it's been a couple minutes, and I passed over some of these little high tones. It turned out to be. Um, buckshot and kind of but I got a little low tone here that's just a kind of one of those whispers I don't know if you can hear this but when I go over so something down there I've already got about I don't know about four inches of dirt off of it it's still down there so I'm gonna try to dig this up and uh, I'll come back to you when we recover it Okay, so uh, dug down a little bit again, got down to about pinpointer depth in the below all the topsoil down there where the hard pack is, and uh, I got another bullet showing here. This time it's a fired bullet, but uh, I would not have heard that with my MXT. I guarantee you, I've been through here, would not have heard it. I just heard it with that. You know, I'm running, uh, I think my gain's only like at seven or something like that, not very high. I have my stabilizer up, so uh, things working, I'm enjoying it.
come back to you. Okay, so my next find is a fired bullet. Um, I didn't record it because it didn't sound good. It sounded like a, that turkey wobble. It was like, woo, woo, woo. But you could tell there's something there and it was pretty deep. So I kept digging and uh, this bullet came out. I guess maybe because of the way it's deformed, it gave it that weird signal. But uh, hey, it's another bullet, so we'll take it. And it's starting to rain. Okay, so I got another one of those warbly signals, and uh, you can see I'm right at the bottom of the pinpointer, and right there at the bottom, you can see I got another fired bullet, but it's kind of mangled up. And I guess that's why it's uh, okay, such a crappy signal. It looks like only about three quarters of the bullets there, so it must have hit something and smashed it up, but uh, it gave a, another one of those warbly signals, but the, it was telling me there was something there, and again, that was... That was at the depth of the pinpointer, and I'm running my uh, gain really low, you know, comparatively, so. And they're sounding off really good, so don't need to go up any higher. Come back to you. Okay, well, this signal was screaming. It was right on top of the, sounded like it was right on the surface. Uh, it's so loud, I'm sure I would have heard it with MXT. We probably just missed it, but, uh, Let's see if you can hear this thing now that's out of the hole. It's pretty daggone loud. It's... Definitely a bullet there. I was going to say because it's not breaking. Let's see if we got it. Not there. Where are you? That's here somewhere. Okay, so it's in my hand. Let's see if we can find it. Nope. There it is, right there. And, oh, well now it's a nice drop too. It's a nice, uh, nice dropped three ringer. And now it's been pulled. Yeah, you can see right on the end it's been pulled there, but still that's a really nice find. Really good shape. Looks like a Williams regulation, I think. So that's a great find. Nice shape too. Nice pulled bullet. Take that and keep going. Come back to you. Okay, so my next uh, target sounded really great. I mean, the classic bullet signal, and I uh, got it out about I don't know about eight inches down. It's a, a uh, looks to be a fired infield. So. It looks to be about 54 caliber. It's a little mangled up, but uh, you can definitely... Oh, and there's the thunder. I think we're fixing to call this one. The lightning's on us, so uh, this is going to be our last find, and we're going to go home, but uh, call, it a, call it a good hunt. Come back to you next time. Okay, a quick wrap-up of the hunt today. I, got, uh, I was finding stuff and uh, hated to go, but uh, the thunder and lightning started, and the, uh, the sky opened up on me. But uh, let's go ahead and start from right to left. Uh, the bullet that I thought was actually was a was a pulled bullet was actually a dropped Williams regulation. That's a, a machine-made Union bullet. Uh, Good-looking bullet. Um, you've probably heard of Williams cleaners. Well, this is the Williams regulation. Uh, so that was nice find a drop. I don't find a lot of those out there. Uh, and then I found another dropped mini. That one was really deep. Um, I don't think I would have heard it on my regular detector. So that was a nice surprise. Uh, got a few fired bullets here, uh, various, you know, amounts of deformation. Uh, this one right here is only about half the bullet there. You can just make out a little bit of the rings on it. Uh, and then the last one, uh, the last find before the skies opened up was a fired infield. Uh, so that's kind of a good, uh, a good uh, find. And um, we'll take that and uh, we'll come back to you next time we have, uh, get out and uh, do some hunting. Thanks for watching.